What's up, everybody? What's going on? So, I'm gonna get straight to it. Get straight to it. Anyways, in this video, I'm gonna close my eyes when I start. And the reason why is because I don't want no distractions. I want complete focus with zero attachments to anything around me. And the reason why is this. You heard of the term freestyle, where people freestyle rap, whatever you know, I'm done. Well, in all actuality, the whole reason why brilliance comes out of freestyle, and people, a lot of people are like, wow, whoa, that was hard, that was crazy, that man off the dome, that was insane. It's because the gift of God, the gift of the mind of God enables pure genius to come out. So, truthfully speaking, instead of me freestyling rap, I'm going to freestyle my life. And that's the key to the mind of God. All right? So, allow me to go ahead and start this. Um, so, yeah, let's get straight to it. Like I said, I'm going to close my eyes in the rest of this process because I need full focus. I don't need no distraction, you know what I'm saying? Mentally, physically, emotionally, visually, whatever. Mentally, physically, emotionally, visually, whatever. I get straight to it, right? Here we go. Alright. So, my eyes are closed. Let's begin. No thought equals no distraction to anything. Now, this is what I want to say. Truthfully speaking, through human physics, through science. The way the universe is made, the same stuff that makes it what it is inside of it is the same stuff that's inside of our head. See, so simply, the universe is a big brain. You get what I'm saying? So, if God is the universe and the universe is a brain, then that means that brain is God and the universe is God's dream. Now, if this is God's dream, then that means we are just God's thoughts. Do you follow me? All right, that being said is this. Now, The reason why, here's the key to it, here's the key to it, right? Because the universe is a brain, and we have a brain, we go hand in hand together, and that's why everything is combined as one, because we all are living in the mind of God. The mind of God, that is right. And let me tell you something, the devil is your thoughts. This is no lie, just hear me out. The devil is your thoughts, Okay? Your unexpected thoughts that just pop in your head. You know how, like, you got noise all in your head all the time, you know, everything's going on at one time. You're like, ah, I can't take it. That's the devil. The devil is your thoughts. Okay? The devil is your thoughts. All evil comes from thoughts. Okay? The ego comes from thoughts. Now, when you can close your thoughts off and silent your mind, then you become the mind of God. You hear? The mind of God. Because the most pure passion and biggest peace you will ever experience in this world, I promise you, is when you silent your mind. See, when you can close your thoughts off completely, everything zero, then you will experience the mind of God, which gives you the peace that you will never feel anywhere. I'm telling you this truth. So, Here's the key to it. Like I said, the universe is a brain. And we've got a brain. They go hand in hand. We all are living inside. Okay, the universe, translation, it's the mind of God. We are living in the mind of God. We are God's thoughts. So in order for us to be on the same wavelength as God, we got to stop our thoughts completely. Because it's the devil. Your devil is your thoughts. I'm telling you, all pain, all stress, all depression, all hurt, all all anxiety, everything that is evil, everything that is negative will always come from your thoughts. That is facts. Now, here's another fact. You can completely zero all your thoughts, everything, but there's still one thing that you're going to feel that you cannot erase when you do that, and that is love. That's real, bro. I'm telling you. That's why meditation, the um, the people of Zen, um, 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 the Buddhists, the biggest spiritual leaders of the world, they all say the same message in different words. It's this right here. To find the peace, a.k.a. God, a.k.a. the actual real pure love. 
you got to silence the thoughts. I'm telling you, this is the revelations revealed to me by God. I'm not, look, I didn't know none of this until it was revealed to me. You think the devil is going to reveal this to me? Do you, do you think the devil is going to reveal something so brilliant, something special, and portray himself in the process by telling me, hey, I'm your thoughts. Don't listen to me. Instead, quiet your mind, and you will find peace and love. Bro, come on. God revealed this to me. Whether y'all believe me or not, I don't care. I don't care at this point. God bless y'all. I love y'all. It's great. Because the truth is, we all are gods. Did you know that? We all are gods. We all are God playing hide and seek, and we don't even realize it. I do now, but most don't even realize it. That is why the term comes uh, when, when it says, be careful what you do to other people because you may be entertaining angels. Do you understand what that means? Do you understand what that means? And I'm not mad, bro. This is, this is, just, this is just, oh, man, just, just, just raw emotions coming out of just life right now. Look, but be careful who you deal with because you may be entertaining, entertaining angels. The truth is we all live in the mind of God. That is what it is. We all are God. We all are God in one. Do you understand that? Do you understand that? So what I'm trying to tell you is, when you quiet your mind, that's what it means by having faith in God and walking with God without knowing what the next thing is going to be without that. See, let me tell you when you quiet your mind completely, you ain't got to worry about saying the wrong thing. You got to worry about doing the wrong thing because God will be your compass of life. He will guide you and support you and lead you in the right direction. And he will, he will, he will make sure everything is good. He will put you where you need to be. He will let all the words come out perfectly how they're supposed to be. Because there's no distractions. What I'm trying to tell you, please understand, that God, the devil, is your thoughts. I'm telling you. I'm going to say this again, dude. Hurt, stress, depression, pain, anxiety, any kind of negative emotion, I promise you, always comes from a core of your thoughts. Always. If you don't want to feel no pain, don't feel no kind of negativity, you just stop your thoughts. I promise you, you can never feel fear, anything, any negative emotion ever if you don't think about it. And I've been trying to put people up on game for years about the thoughts. And you know what's crazy? Before I even get three months ago, before I got to where I'm at now with the process, connected with God and finding God the way I have, I didn't realize that he has set me up for this whole opportunity since the beginning. I didn't know that. You know how I know that? It's because for years I have been intrigued in the psychology and human anatomy of how the brain works and thoughts and how they are, right? And anybody that knows me for years, it knows me, knows me, knows I got videos about thoughts out the yin-yang. And I didn't realize that that passion, that desire, that, that, that push, that motivation, that pull was all a purpose. There's a reason why I was making these thoughts, uh, videos about thoughts. I did not know it. I did not have a clue until the last four months now that I've been putting this book together. And it all made sense. God has been showing me since the beginning how this works. And it's so emotional, man. It's so emotional. But what I'm trying to tell you is this. Just hear me out. Hear me out, all right? Man. Give me a moment, please. All right, this is all I'm saying to y'all. Listen, please. Whether you believe me or not, if you got any kind of curiosity about what I'm saying, it could be true. It might spark your interest. It might spark your mind in a way that you want to know more. Just do me one favor. And I'm doing this through God, not me, man. Allow yourself one 24 hours to do what I'm telling you. And yeah, it's not easy. It's hard. But here's the key. Do it for 24 hours. Try. And I can guarantee you. Guarantee you. You will understand what I'm telling you. You will understand it. It's real, dude. We all are connected in this world through the mind of God. But God cannot be present in our life or active in our self per se while the thoughts are active because the devil and look the devil lives in your mind that is why it says in the bible that the, that the devil can only message your head that is why because see we live in the mind of god so when your thoughts are active 
you truthfully are basically unconscious in the word of God. You see? And the thing is, God is your consciousness. The devil is the unconscious version of you. And that's why the devil messes with your mind. And that's why when we go to sleep, we become unconscious. And we, when, we go, when, we, and when we become unconscious and we go into the dreams, we are in an unconscious state that we are not aware of. And that's where the devil attacks you the most. And that is why it's proven. Look it up. That most dreams you ever have or encounter will always be a form of negativity. Always. Think about it. I can guarantee you most of your dreams are not positive. I, I, like I know without knowing this is true. And the reason why is because when you become unconscious, that is where the devil plays with your mind. When you become conscious in the uh, mind of God, the devil is not active. You see? So while your thoughts are active, going all over the place, the devil's active in your mind because you are unconscious in this mind state of God's mind. In order to be conscious, through the mind of God, you got to let go. I mean, you got to completely let go of everything. That's why God says, surrender to me. Give yourself to me completely, fully. Give me your mind. Do you understand why I'm telling you? That's, he literally says, give me your mind. Of what I'm just telling you. It's that simple. Give me your mind. Let go of everything. Let go of all attachments. Release everything and let me have it. Because I'm telling you, you are not considered conscious in the state a mindset of God, my mind of God, until you let go of everything. That means you drop all your thoughts. You stop. You have faith. You trust God. And I promise you, He will put you where you need to be. You ain't going about making a mistake. He's gonna lead you. That's what faith is, man. It's giving to God and just knowing you're good. So, like I said, I'm be done with this. Devil lives in your mind. And that's why it says in the Bible that the devil can only play with your mind because that's where he is literally. And because when you are in your mind, you are in an unconscious state. And when you are unconscious, the devil can mess with you. You see? So that's what I'm trying to tell you. When we go to sleep at nighttime, we become unconscious. And when you become unconscious, you lose focus of the self-purpose of who you are and where you at. And the devil goes crazy with you. When you wake up out of that sleep, you are aware of what's going on, but you're still in an unconscious life state of life. So what I'm trying to tell you is this, just simply. All right. To God devil is your thoughts. He lives in your mind. When you release that and you let it go, you will find the most peace you've ever experienced in your life, ever. And it's already been there. It's already waiting. Right there. But you will never do it. Hear it. Know about it. Because all the noise in your mind. Distraction. Release it. Release it. And I promise you. See, with no thoughts, you're fully focused. With no thoughts, you have no distraction. With no thoughts, things come easy to you. With no thoughts, your perception is clear. With no thoughts, there's no depression, there's no negative emotions. With no thoughts, you are fully awake. Fully awake. <laughs> you understand? You are not awakened until you escape the mind. Until you escape the mind, you will stay asleep in your head. The key escaping the mind is letting go fully fully up here and trusting God to lead you the way God bless y'all amen dude like I'm so serious try it out before you assume judge whatever try it out I love y'all God bless